I always feel like I can get so much more done in a short period of time than I actually can. Like I was like, oh, no problem. I'll definitely get both of these pieces of furniture done today. All I have to do is paint them. That didn't happen. <laughs> Welcome to day seven of our month long video challenge. I'm wanting to work on some furniture pieces today. I have three different furniture pieces in mind that I wanna get done and into the booth. The first of those is a coffee table. I've had it prepped and partially painted for a while. I just need to finish the painting process. The second is a bookshelf that I have that I painted white and have been using in my house for a little bit. And the third is a really nice china cabinet that I've got completely sanded down but haven't painted yet. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all three done today, but I do want to work on the bookshelf and the coffee table. Now, as far as getting those projects done goes, I don't have a great space to work on them right now. Our garage doesn't really have enough room in it to worry about painting on furniture pieces in there. Where I normally work on these pieces of furniture in our carport, it is way too cold out there to be painting. It would affect the finish of the paint. Instead, I think what I'm gonna do is load them up into my car, take them over to Grit and Grace Market, and just finish painting in the booth. I've already got paint supplies in there. I really don't have anything in the way to worry about, so I can go over there get them finished, and then they're there to immediately load in. I am at Grit and Grace Market. I've got the two pieces in the back of my car. My husband helped me load it in. Neither of them are really that heavy, but now I'm going to have to get them out myself which can tend to be a struggle with furniture pieces and loading and unloading. This is the first piece of furniture I want to start working on. I've had this in my house for a little while storing books on it and the only thing that I did to it was put on a coat of primer so it definitely needs a little bit of work. You can still see the blue color through the piece but I at least did get the primer on so that I am ready for paint. I'm going to be using this green which is called carriage house by fusion mineral paint and then I think what I want to do with it is actually maybe do some cottage maybe folk art inspired designs on it with this white I also might do a little bit of like mixing and do a little tone on tone variation with it but I think this will be a fun project and I'm hoping I can knock it out pretty quick
I got the first coat on it, so I'm going to let it dry and then I will come back and put a second coat on it here in a little bit. I was able to get the second coat of paint on and now I think I'm gonna sketch out a few different designs along the front and side of it. I think I wanna keep it pretty simple on the inside of the shelves and then maybe do some very small detailing around the edges and then on the sides as well. Yes, I know that it's January 7th and I still haven't taken down my Christmas yet. We'll get to it, I promise, at some point. I'm back home now. It ended up getting a little bit late. There were some other vendors there working with me today, but it was getting to be like six o'clock, which is when the coffee shop out front shuts down and then the other vendors were leaving. And I didn't wanna stay too late because I didn't want to be leaving by myself at dark. I was able to get the second coat of paint onto the shelf and I was also able to start the design on it, which I'm doing this really cute floral design. I feel like I need to experiment with some different designs on some pieces of paper because I would love to continue painting these cottagey furniture pieces. I don't want all my pieces to have folk art on it because I know that's not something that everybody wants in their home, but I do enjoy just doing some fun creative art on pieces. I always feel like I can get so much more done in a short period period of time than I actually can. Like I was like, oh, no problem. I'll definitely get both of these pieces of furniture done today. All I have to do is paint them. That didn't happen. <laughs> and I still worked six hours today on stuff. What I really need is a day to go into the booth and just finish up all these small projects. It really would have helped had I already prepared myself to just immediately move into the booth. But when I usually pick up furniture pieces, they have a lot of work that needs done on them. And so I end up having to spend a lot of time getting them ready to load into the booth. And in cool weather, it's very hard for me to get paint on that dries well and then also get finishing coats on things that dry well. I really need to start looking for some pieces that I can just flip with minimal effort, whether they just need cleaned up or updated drawers or just a tiny bit of repair. I don't need to be picking up furniture pieces that need so much work all the time. One thing I did wanna show y'all is what I brought in with me to the booth today. I have a kit of items that I normally bring with me. I have my staging kit, which usually has items for cleaning, hanging up pictures and other art pieces on the wall, along with all of my tagging items so that if I lose a price tag or forget to price something, 
then I have it with me. I also have my regular kit, which has all of my tools in it. Anything that I think might be beneficial for me to bring into the antique booth when I go. So I'm gonna walk you through what I call my vendor kit. I bring this with me every time I go into my antique booth because you never know what items you're going to need when you're loading in smalls or even putting a booth together. So I do have general tools like scrapers, a hammer is always useful, needle nose pliers, and a measuring tape. I also bring different kinds of screws with me. I've got construction screws and then I've also got drywall screws. I bring floral wire. I don't always need to use this, but sometimes it is handy when you're wanting to stage certain items. Then I have my set of drill bits that I bring with me. And I also usually have my screwdriver with me as well. I have furniture moving sliders, sandpaper, cleaning supplies, and a towel. And then I have my pricing kit here, which has pins, Sharpies, tape, safety pins, all of my tags, and scissors in it. I also include things to stage with like these little easels that I can put artwork onto or if I need to have a sign. I've got these clear ones that I can put a little informative sign and stick it somewhere in the booth. I also brought a little paint kit with me today with the paints that I was planning on using. I really enjoyed the Fusion Mineral paints and I'm not sponsored by them, but they are one of my favorite paints to use just based on the amount of different color options they have. And I really like how the paint itself works. So I had like the coal black and then I also have the casement white. There's a little pink, little piggy pink color. And then a darker cast iron. I also brought paint stirring sticks, rub and buff, all kinds of different paint brushes, paint can opener, and a short little trim brush. I don't always carry this one with me, but it is handy to have something like this that is in a box so that I can just grab it whenever I'm working on a paint project or I can grab my other kit when I'm working on loading things into the booth. Hopefully looking into my vendor kit gives you some ideas for what you might want to add into yours or if you don't have one, some ideas for how to put one together. Every vendor I know is unique in what they bring with them whenever they go, but I think it's a good idea to have one because you never know when you're going to show up to the antique booth wanting to hang a piece of artwork and you don't have a nail or screw and your store doesn't have one laying around either. And then you have to either go back to your house or make a trip to the store and it ends up being a big waste of time. There are some vendors like me that will forget what they have and then go buy multiples of it, like drywall screws that I might have three boxes of because I'm like, I don't have any of these. And then I go buy more. And then I'm like, I don't have any of these. And then I go buy more. It helps if they're just in the vendor kit and I can look in the vendor kit because I know that I have them. I do appreciate all of you have stayed with me this week as we work through this challenge and all of the new people who have joined in on this little adventure. We've got so much more in store for us, so I will see you tomorrow.